Today we're going to talk about what makes things burn and how they burn. So let's start out with, here we just have a little mixture of alcohol and water. We're putting it on a, a fire resistive counter. We turn around and light it and it burns. And really what's happening is the liquid is being converted to vapor. It's being raised up above its flash point or its fire point and the vapors are what's turning around and burning. So let's put that one out. Let's go to another one. Now here all we have is just a, a propane cylinder that everybody's very familiar with. And when the propane comes out, it pulls in enough air and what we have coming out of, of the end is just a, a nice efficient flame. So if we turn around and without igniting the flame, we just put a bunch of gas in here. So we're providing the, uh, the oxygen and we're providing the fuel. And now if we provide an ignition source, we're going to have combustion. Okay, now let's take it to the next step. We're going to turn around and talk about how we put fires out. Well, one of the ways we put fires out is by excluding the oxygen. So this is a neat little demo. We're going to turn around and just take some baking soda, regular old base. We're going to put a bunch in there. And now we're going to add some vinegar. And this is the same demo probably a lot of you did when you were in uh, grade school making a volcano and you want to make the thing froth up. So this is an acid, that's a base. When we mix them together, there's a chemical reaction. In this case, the result is carbon dioxide gas. Now, neat thing about carbon dioxide gas, the two properties that are going to make it useful here is, number one, it's an asphyxiant, or it's going to displace the oxygen. And two, it's heavier than air. So believe it or not, right now, this beaker is full of carbon dioxide gas. So we'll let it finish reacting in there a little bit. And now we're going to turn around and pour our invisible carbon dioxide gas into this other beaker. And again, it's invisible, colorless, odorless, tasteless. So everybody probably thinks we're pretty crazy right now because you don't see anything going in there. Okay. Now this beaker is full of carbon dioxide gas. We're going to turn around and go up on top of our candle stair step here. And when we pour the carbon dioxide gas, as it goes down, it excludes the oxygen and it puts the fire out. Neat little demo. 